Hello everyone, today we're diving deep into No Return, The Last of Us Part 2's new roguelike mode. As a huge fan of this franchise, I've been eagerly anticipating this mode, and now that I've spent some quality time with it, let's break it down. Also, stick around until the end, for some terrific tips and tricks. No Return is essentially a survival mode where you select a Last of Us character, navigate through 5 randomized encounters and one boss fight, all while trying to stay alive. The one aspect of No Return that I truly appreciate is how seamlessly it integrates into the game. While roguelikes are really popular at the moment with titles like Hades, Returnal, Ragnarok's Valhalla, No Return feels like a natural fit for the world of The Last of Us. It doesn't feel forced, rather it feels like a mode that the game was always meant to have. And for fans like myself who can't get enough of this universe, it's definitely a welcome addition. Now let's talk about the playable characters. Well, it's fantastic to be able to play as all these people here. I can't help but feel that Naughty Dog missed a huge opportunity to truly elevate this game mode. Sure, each playable character has their own strengths and weaknesses, right? Jesse gets a ton of currency, Abby heals after a melee hit, uh, Joel can dodge, but I expected a bit more from good old ND, you know? It would have been really cool if Lev, for example, can only use the bow, because canonically he believes that he shouldn't touch old world stuff like guns and bombs, and he played a bit more like Ellie in the first game, so no melee fighting, no grabbing enemies, that kind of stuff. What I'm trying to say is, I think it would have been better for each character to have a specific gun or throwable, so maybe Molotovs are exclusive to Ellie, only Joel gets a revolver, the sniper is just for Tommy, etc. But that being said, where no return truly shines are the randomized encounters. They can get pretty wild at times, and the tension of navigating through them, scavenging for resources, facing off against the infected or the other human factions is incredibly engaging. It keeps you on the edge of your seat, constantly strategizing and adapting to survive. You get these gambits that can be really rewarding and help you overcome an encounter, but they also are really risky, so you have to really stop and think, are they worth doing or not? All of that really is a testament to Naughty Dog's mastery of the game design in part 2. I have to say that No Return is a worthy addition to The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered. While it certainly will not change your opinion about the main story, it offers a fresh experience for those craving more of Part 2's gameplay without having to dive back into the story, which is a good thing, because when you replay the story mode encounters multiple times, the sandbox feel that you get on your first playthrough isn't there anymore. And now for the tips and tricks that I promised. But first, hit that subscribe button to help support the channel. Thank you. Number 1. If you're going for high scores, always pick Jesse. He gets a shit ton of currency and he has upgraded pipe bombs. Number 2. You don't need more than one short and one long gun. Use your money to buy throwables instead. Number 3. When you're upgrading your guns, always prioritize damage. This is unless you're doing grounded mode, there the damage upgrade is locked. Instead, shift your attention to upgrading your reload speed and fire rate. Number 4. Hunted by infected encounters give you the most score, and hunted by humans are the toughest encounters. Number 5. If you finish a capture encounter and still have more than 30 seconds left on the save, do not open it. Go and loot other stuff instead. Before you return to your base, it will automatically open. Jesus. Number 6. Hold triangle when looting these boxes and the safes. You will pick up everything automatically. Thank you all for watching. See you next time.